Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Ninjago Movie Water Strider. This is set number 70611, 494 pieces. And this is a cool looking set from the box. I'm curious to see how it uh, builds out. But it kind of reminds me of the Ultra Agents. The black and then the trans light blue colors and then kind of like this mechanized type um, water vehicle that... Um, we saw a lot of sets kind of like this in the, the Ultra Agents theme, which was one of my favorite themes. Um, I really liked that theme a lot. I know it was kind of hit or miss with a lot of people, but I liked it. So let's go ahead and bust this open, see what we have inside. Turn this down for what? And dump everything out. All right, so we'll move this one really big instruction book. This is like the size of a, a school spiral notebook. It's huge. And we have numbered bags. So there's bag one and two. I have three and four over there. And a very large sticker sheet. It has some pretty big stickers on it as well. with bag one. Looks like we have two small bags inside of this. And of all the bags, bag one seems to be the largest quantity of parts. The other bags seem to have about half as many parts in them as this bag does. So probably when we're done with bag one, we'll be halfway through the the build. Okay, we also have this little box. What's in here? Okay, it looks like a little um, cowl or something. It's gonna be used. And check out this. This is a new piece. I haven't seen this before. It's like an angled connector piece. Looks like we have two of them. Huh, interesting. All right, so we have see a couple minifigures to build pull all the parts together for them that I could find all right so our first one is um, Kai we have Kai and Naya brother and sister this is Kai Here's his little, so he has the little shoulder armor with the sword holder on the back. And he's got the little mask bandana type piece. Put his head on. He's got a double printed face. Kind of has the angry face that I have kind of showing right now. And then on the other side, he kind of has this shy grin. And then the little mask piece that goes over it. That's pretty cool. It fits perfectly on the bottom part to where it looks as one continuous mask. So that is pretty nice. Put one sword in the holder and one in his hand. So that's our first minifigure. Alright. So she is wearing the little, it looks like an armored skirt or metal skirt with the printing on it. Kind of like what you go into battle with. So you can see the, the little rivets around the side. Kind of make it look like it's put together with some sort of fastener. So she has the same little bottom part of the mask. She also has two printed faces. They're both angry. 
This one's kind of like angry with a smile, and then this on the back side is like an angry with a a not smile, kind of like a straight face. And she has the piece that goes over. And for some reason, this one has a okay. Her head wasn't all the way on. The, okay. That fits better. So the head wasn't all the way on. There's a little um, gap. I give it extra ones. So you see, there's a little lip in there that if you don't put the head all the way through that, it'll stick up a bit. So now that we have it on, that looks good. So we have one of these um, spears. This is not a new piece. I just hadn't seen it in a while. On the bottom side of the spear, we're going to attach one of the studs that has the tassel on it. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. There's only one of them in here. It's hiding in there. You can see that little piece there. That's not a new piece either. We saw that last year in some of the Ninjago sets. Once again, it's kind of a rare piece. You don't get a lot of them. So, nice to see that showing up again in some more sets. Alright, so that is those two figures. So, let's begin our water strider. So, we're going to start with this 6x6 um, six six round plate. Attach this square thing on there. And then we have four of these new pieces. So it's kind of like a bionicle brick, which is kind of like Technic stuff. But it has this piece going out with Technic pinholes all through the sides. And then you have this perpendicular pinhole piece. But you can see a brick will fit inside of that little opening there. So now we're going to start putting some of the trans light blue color pieces on here. And this is what makes it feel like Ultra Agents to me. I've got some 2x6 with the quarter rounds on the end. four by four brick and it clicks onto that turntable and you hear it kind of clicking so it kind of turns but it, it clicks in place as you turn it so it doesn't just completely free spin around there put that axle in there that'll also help hold everything together now we have brackets one, two, three, and four. Now a Technic brick frame it goes right in the middle. And we have an axle with this axle joiner. So we have to slide the axle through this piece and then connect it to that axle joiner. So it's in there now, you can see as I turn it, that axle joiner will turn as well. Now we have a red one. This black bevel gear on it, and this will just slide through the other side. And attach it there. We'll cover that up with this piece. And with the plate. Uh, 
have a few more brackets. Okay, so that's a little bit of assortment of Technic pieces on there. Next we have these modified plates with the bars on the end. Those will both go there. Now, blue plate, dark bluish gray plate. Another one there. Okay, what I thought was a lot of parts is definitely going together pretty quickly. I think, um, well, there's still a lot of small parts left on the table here, but um, surprisingly, this is a pretty easy build so far. Although it looks pretty complicated on the box, the build has not been hard at all. Other than maybe some of the Technic pieces could possibly give someone a little bit of trouble. I've uh, been pretty experienced with Technic, so that kind of comes easy to me. These two modified plates with the pinholes on the side. light blue studs there and there a few more Technic pieces all right move that to the side we have a little sub assembly to build that on there we have this black bevel gear slides all the way down on that axle This piece slides all the way down there. Oops, I actually put that on upside down. Just turn that around, slide that like that, because we need this brick on here to be able to connect to those studs. All right, now I have a knuckle gear. With this gear small black bevel gear and a trans blue cone shape then we have these half round panels on both sides connects back here and that black bevel gear interlocks with that smaller one so you see when we turn this it turns this axle up on the front there so that is a play feature looks like couple of these mixel joint pieces some corner plates some 4x4 four four plates I mean 2x2 two two plates <clears throat> Micro 
wedge plates. A couple of big slopes here. And a blue cheese slope. guys will hold that in place and we have a rocker brick with a rocker plate two of these white studs that have a hole in the top see that hole through there and we're gonna attach these little handlebars into those holes just like that go on the front so that's the a steering mechanism to control the water strider. Now we have our rotary stud launcher piece. This slides in there. So that interconnects with that piece that turns in the back. And you can see this thing up here turning. When I turn that, so that's what'll launch the studs. are going to be like simulated cannons. They're not actually going to launch anything. I'll build two of them that are identical. These panels, these are Technic panels. Pretty common to see these in Technic sets, but if you're not into Technic, then you may be unfamiliar with what these panels are. This piece will connect onto that little mixel joint there. We bring this hose around, attach it like that. I'm gonna repeat those steps for the other side. We have a few extra pieces, kind of your normal stuff. So that completes bag one. So let's go ahead and move on to our second bag right now. Okay, bag two parts are out and ready to go. And we have our next minifigures. The first one is going to be one of the villains. This is Puffer. There it is. Right is that right? Nope, not the right one. This is the right one. So puffer has basically a puffer fish for a hair piece. It's kind of cool. It has a clear windscreen already molded into the the head there. And this guy. So they all, all the bad guys for this set, I mean for this Ninjago movie, all are aquatic themed. So they have some sort of modified fish as their weapon. 
this one is the um, the fish with a little club on the top, kind of like a mace. So that is puffer, and then the next one is a just a shark army thug. So it's kind of like your common fig. He has the blue fish with the little spike sticking out. So every one has been different. So the, the thug that we got in the Ninjago City chase was, uh, he had the, almost looks just like this. Slightly different face. Uh, well, no, kind of same face. Um, but his fish had a, a Thor hammer on top of it. That one has a little spike. And these two have different ones. All right, so done with that. Now we're moving on to beginning the, the legs of the water strider. So it looks like we're gonna build two of them that are gonna be identical. So the instructions are showing instructions for one, but I'm basically gonna be, be building them both simultaneously. Okay. So we have Technic brick with some Technic pins kind of throughout it. There's a lot of Technic pins in this little pile of parts off to the side. Using quite a few of them right now. So turn that around, that goes there. To repeat these steps here. And these little gray pins, you can see when I put it in there, it basically makes a stud so we can connect any type of Lego brick to those studs. these two pieces and we're going to use our first sticker and it's actually sticker number one it's kind of rare that the first sticker is actually number one sticker i say that because the numbers on the stickers are <clears throat> for reference and they're not necessarily the numbered in the order that you put them on there so sometimes the first sticker we put on is, say, sticker number five. But since they've started numbering them about two or three years ago, there hasn't been a, a set that I can recall that actually put them all on numerically, exactly how they have them numbered. This piece, let's see here, goes on this. All right, so this set won't be the first one that does it numerically because we're onto our next sticker, and this is sticker number four. So you can see we went from sticker number one. All the way to sticker number four without doing the others. Make sure I get the sticker on exactly the way they show it in the instructions. So that goes there. That goes there. This one caught up real quick. Put 
And these get sticker number five. Ah, huh, that's funny. There's actually five of the exact same number five stickers. So that is the first two of them that we'll use. Use the others throughout the, the rest of the build somewhere along the way. This one goes here. Move those to the side. Got some more Technic pieces. Bunch of friction pins. Get this other one caught up. If I get too far ahead, I'll forget to do those steps. If you're into Technic, then you'll probably like this set. There's a lot of Technic pieces on here. All right, so that looks good. Now we have these large click hinge pieces. Basically creates like the, the points of articulation. Slide an axle through with a half bushing on the other side of it. Okay, turn the page. These are ready to go on. So one goes there, one goes there. Next we have this smokestack piece. It just barely catches that clip. Um, a tile that goes there and a tile there. around put the other half pushing on here pulley wheel and another half pushing okay so we have these little flex hoses one will go in there. Have that tile, and we have this piece. That and that. Okay, we'll repeat those steps over here. Water Strider. We have friction pins are going to connect in there. You can see how that piece slides right in the middle. I think we're going to put a yeah we're going to put a black axle through there. That'll hold it in place. 
So on the opposite side, we're basically going to repeat that. That piece slides in there. Another black axle through there. Okay, and I just realized, because this is sitting on the table, I forgot to put this piece on puffer. It's, it's a, like a breathing apparatus. It goes over the shoulders. See, it's got that little single tank on the back. Okay, so once again, we have some small extra parts, just kind of your standard one-offs, little extra things. So we're now moving on to bag number three. Okay, we have all the bag three parts out. And then other than the minifigures that we got in bag two, um, bag three looks pretty much exactly the same as what we had in bag two. It's because we're building the other legs. And these are exactly the same, just the mirrored version of them. So I guess I could have dumped all the parts out and done the, all four of them. Just had to do two of them in the mirrored version. <clears throat> but it is what it is. We'll just kind of go with it. But you'll kind of see that there's going to be a lot of similarities here. It's like, hey, that kind of looks like what we just did because it is kind of what we just did. All right, so there's one. And I've gotten pretty good about putting the little pins in there. It gets pretty easy once you kind of know how they go in. All right, so pulling the parts for the next little piece. We have stickers again. So we have sticker number two. And then goes on that, just like the other one did. Bunch of stickers on this set versus the the manta ray one only had two stickers. This one is making up for it with all the other stickers, I guess. Okay, sticker number six. Long skinny stickers sometimes can be tricky. See, I actually got a couple of air bubbles in those, but if you kind of squish on them, they kind of come out. But it is what it is. So, just like the other side, repeating these steps here. more of the sticker number five. There's one and two. That. That was good attached there. Those stickers right there are really messed up. But nothing I can do about that now. It's part of the frustrations. There's not many frustrations with Lego, but with me, stickers is one of them. A 
Oops, these are supposed to be next to each other. We've got two more. Did it again. That was in the wrong spot. Gotta move that over. That can go there. That can go there. Pin with a stud. Pin with a stud. Okay. So this is the locking mechanism for the the legs. Then we have our big joint pieces. Those will go there. Now we have the pins with the stud. There and there. And our axle with a half bushing. On. doesn't show to put it on yet but we know it's going to go there and our little smokestack piece Pushing our pulley wheel, our other half pushing. So this is pretty much just like what we did on the other side, all the way to there. Half pushing, pulley wheel. So it's kind of like the beginning of the set was kind of. Fun to build. Figuring out the legs was okay, and now it's getting very repetitive. Okay. Pull these to the side because we'll need those. And bring our strider piece back over. Um, Pop that in there. Slide our axle through the bottom. Do the same on this side. Slide that through there. And the axle through the bottom. So you can see it's getting pretty big. Now we haven't turned the legs, and as soon as I say that, they show in the instructions for us to Go ahead and turn these down like that. Our little hoses still are not attached to anything just yet, but at least it's kind of in its standing position. Okay, we are now on to our fourth and final bag. Okay, we have everything for bag four dumped out, and um, we're basically going to make the feet of the Strider the four times build. So. We're going to build four of the exact same thing until they tell us we're done with it, I guess. So once again, the translite blue color is <clears throat> Nexonite, I mean, uh, Ultra Agents-esque. Got that. Page. We've got these big knuckle pieces. Okay. 
I'm just gonna go through a couple steps before I repeat all the steps for the next one. That way we don't get too far behind on them. Actually, what I'm gonna do is do all the steps for this page on each one. So that goes all the way through. Got these black pieces. There, there. Okay. So that actually completes one of them. There is a sticker we're gonna have to put on it, but I'll, I'll repeat that. I mean, I'll do those all at one time. But for now, back to the repetitiveness. I'm gonna get to the point where I'm gonna memorize the build and then as soon as I've got it memorized I'll be done with it and like oh now that I've memorized it I don't need to know it anymore okay pieces flying across the table one. You may notice that I'm just kind of putting these on in slightly different orders, but it's just kind of, as I see the piece that I know I need, I just grab it. So long as whatever I had on first is there, it doesn't really matter. Okay, axle through there. Now, sticker time. Oops, a piece fly off. This is the same sticker, obviously, on every single one of them. Strider, you see it's got the little knuckle joint piece on each one. And then this hose will connect to that piece here. up a bit so we can see everything let's see what's next we have another four times build basically a stud this dish goes on a bigger dish with a clip on it these pieces so 
So, on the side of our strider, we have a little bar piece that these are going to clip onto. Kind of adds a little bit of body detail. I think these are supposed to be up like that. So here's our windscreen. Put a couple of these plates on there. Put these there. We use our last number five sticker. There's still quite a few stickers on the sticker sheet though, so we're nowhere near done using them all. We've got some more Technic pieces. These are, looks like simulated guns. They're beyond here. This one slides right there. Gonna repeat those steps for the other side. just pops on the top. There's no hinge or anything. It just completely just pops on there. Right, so now we have a couple of flag pieces to make. These are identical. These we'll get. Sticker number nine. I'm trying to orient this the right way. All right. Two more. One is the other. Okay. Let's bring this over. Back side here, we have a piece that the stuff will clip onto. It's kind of hard to see it behind those Technic panels, but it's there. flags wherever all right and we have two more no wait one more flag but it's a double flag See, it's got the two flag pieces on there and this will use the last of our stickers so we have sticker number seven Number three. Turn it over. Basically have the same stickers on the other side. And there you go. This is the last sticker. Way too many stickers on here if you ask me. But who's asking, right? Okay, this one goes right in the middle. That's pretty cool, those flags. Now we have a lot of these trans light blue studs and that's for the rotary stud launcher. And it's kind of tricky to get those in there. 
based on where this is located. And the other thing is, as I try to push it on, it's trying to turn on me. So it might be easier if you hold the body straight. And of course there goes one. That's gone forever. I'll never find that one. All right. Cool. So I have one more round plate. Where did I forget to put this on? Hmm. Interesting. Turn the page. I don't know. Looks like I have them on all of the feet. And there. That's only two places we used them. So maybe this gave me an extra one. All right. So check that out. We have the, the water strider now. Remember, this is pretty articulated. You can move these legs, kind of pose it real low like that, or you can move them up almost like 90 degrees. Pose it pretty high. I like it down a little bit. Personally, yeah, like that. Sure, why not? Anyway, it, it's really, really big. Fills out a lot of space with uh, just the the amount of space it takes up with all of the the posability of the legs. So you can see we've got the minifigures there. We've got two good guys, two bad guys and a really cool vehicle slash water strider thing to play with so thanks again for watching put a comment down below let me know your thoughts if you're new here subscribe so you don't miss any other of these build videos and um yeah we'll see you in the next one